This is Onisha Biggs of Pharmacy Tech Lesson. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to win at math, even if you suck at it. Hi everyone, this is Onisha Biggs with another Pharmacy Tech Lesson. And today, I'm gonna to answer a question from one of our constant viewers here on the show about math, okay? So, we have a question here, it's from Zaina. And she asked, I wanted to ask this question here, so here it goes. I have never been the best with math, and I'm worried that might make this career as a pharmacy tech hard. As I've been researching several items you need to do during the job and training program, I am wondering what is the highest mathematical level I need, or what is the hardest math question you have ever had? Thanks. All right, Zaina, first of all, I want to say thank you for tuning into the show and also thank you for joining the group, okay? I know you're getting a lot of value out of that. That's actually where she asked this question, okay? And if you want more information on that private group, then just go down below in the description or you may see it in the comments floating around somewhere here on the channel. But let's go ahead and get into the question. So she says, you said you've never been the best with math and you're worried that that might make your career as a pharmacy technician hard. So. First thing first I want to say is this, realistically as a pharmacy tech, um, when you're on the job, you're actually not sitting there doing allegations. So a lot of the things that you're going to learn on the test or that you're going to have to study for to take the test, truly, it will not be in your job setting. We're keeping this in the vicinity of math, okay? So now we're specifically talking about math, all right? So when dealing with math, you're not going to be on the job like doing a tic-tac-toe board and uh, creating an allegation formula to figure it out, okay? All of that stuff is usually figured out for you already. All right, so they just give you the recipe and you as the pharmacy tech with the license, okay, with the proper training, you have to be the one to go in there and to make up that specific recipe. So it's just like baking a cake, all right? So a lot of the information that you see here on the channel, this is so that you can pass your PTCB exam, all right? So don't fret about once you get on the job as a pharmacy technician, you're gonna have all of the calculations that you need there. And I have here my handy dandy calculator for little small so like let's say um uh, let's say you want to calculate how much 25% off is, all right, and you don't have it, it's not already set there in the computer, or you want to calculate this person's copay, okay? So you'll probably need a calculator for that, but it's literally basic at home standardized math, okay? So it's not anything deep, you're not going to be on the job having to uh, per se calculate concentrations and things like that unless the system goes down. But that is a good thing to know, okay? So that's why they have you taking this PTCB exam to make sure that you are equipped and that you're a person that is adept enough to be able to get the job done in the event that the computers weren't there. Truly, I mean, I, I really feel like um, the, the PTCB exam hasn't quite caught up to technology um, all the way. That's just my honest opinion. So Zany, you also asked what's the highest level of math that's needed, okay? So in my courses, um, I teach my students all of the math that is needed up to the highest degree. And even with the practice tests that I give them, I make sure that they are super hard questions so that if they get to the PTCB exam and they view a question, it might not be as hard as what they're already used to okay so we're working them up to a pretty advanced level which is what you should do as well when you're studying for the test all right so I'll give you an example uh, for me um, allegations was something that was pretty tough okay for me also uh, calculations that needed formulas such as calculating a temperature Fahrenheit or Celsius converting between one another also uh, conversions so from teaspoons to milliliters those type things were hard for me because it not only required for you to uh, derive the answer or calculate it but it also required a bit of memorization so that was kind of tough for me but for you I don't know what it may be you know it may be cross multiplication that's hard for you um, it may be uh, word problems that's hard for you some people don't know how to decipher what information matters and what information doesn't matter when it comes to a word problem so that they can get the ultimate answer that they need so um, for you I'm not sure what your hardest problem would be but I know for me it was allegations and the things that required a little bit of memorization. 
All right, so basically Zayna, don't fret if you don't know everything about math, okay? All of us, before we knew calculus, we had to first learn addition and subtraction, okay? So just take it one step at a time. Don't overload yourself or feel like um, you can't do it, all right? If everyone felt like that about their career field or ultimately what they wanted to do, none of us would even have a career, truly. So don't fret, if you're in the group, then you have the extra help that you need. Of course, you know in the group, the live sessions are every single week we at least have one live session a week okay and if you're not already in the group make sure like I said go below and click the link and request to get in the group okay now we want serious people that are studying for the PTCB or that are already in the pharmacy field and want to go higher we only want people that are serious about the field okay or you will get kicked out all right all right so this has been Onisha Biggs with another pharmacy tech lesson I hope that this video helped you have a great day so now I have a question for you while we're at it, if you're currently studying for the PTCB exam or you've already passed the test, what was the hardest math question that you've had to deal with? Put your answers in the comments below. This has been Onisha Biggs with another Pharmacy Tech lesson. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Onisha Biggs.